What is the basic gear that you need to get started hunting? Welcome to the Beaver Crew. Welcome to our seven day series. This is our next video. And today we're talking about hunting gear. And I split this video up into two parts, the basic hunting gear, like the very basics that I think you should probably have. And then a little more advanced list of gear that, you know, I take to the woods and probably a lot of other hunters take as well. So the basic gear is the gear that you should have before heading out to the woods. I'm not saying that you absolutely have to have it to have a successful hunt, but this is the basic gear that if you want to maybe better your odds or just make things a little more easier and comfortable, these are some things that you probably should have before going out to the woods. These things consist of one, a backpack. This guy right here is an Alps Outdoor Pursuit Pack, 75 bucks off of Amazon. Really nice, got a lot of different pockets, really good for organizing, and it has a big cargo storage spot so I can put some other things as well really nice to have especially because i film my own hunts and i'm carrying a lot of gear so having a backpack to carry that stuff and keep it off of like my body and like making things a little bit easier it's really nice next up is pegs i've talked about pegs before pegs are really really nice to have especially if you're an archery hunter putting your bow in an easy hanger and bring it bringing it right around to yourself having pegs can be really really useful and you don't even have to use them for your weapons you can use them for all your gear and random stuff Having pegs really makes it nice. Next one, a knife. You should always have a knife. It should be like the very basic tool that you have along with your weapon is a knife because knives can be used for so many different things. Most importantly, I bring a knife because I have to field dress the animal. That's like the first thing I do. I don't shoot the animal and then take it back to the house or wherever I am and then field dress it. I always field dress it in the field right there to get rid of a bulk of the weight, making it a lot easier to transport the animal from the kill site to the destination i guess you could say next basic gear is a license you gotta have a license if you're hunting without a license you're hunting illegally so you gotta have a license i always bring a license now the next items you do not have to have you do not have to bring them but i bring them because they can possibly make the hunt more successful they do make it a little easier for me and they prepare me for certain situations so two things that i always bring to the woods with me are my optics that is my binoculars right here my pair of bushnell binoculars and my rangefinder, my six hour rangefinder right here. The reason I bring these is because it prepares me for other situations. I always bring a rangefinder, especially if I'm archery hunting, because having the correct distance can be really, really, really important. Even if you think you're good at judging distance, and you might be, having a rangefinder can still, it's that extra layer of security in a way that helps you be prepared for when that animal comes in. Now I always bring binoculars because one, it makes the hunt more interesting. You get bored, you just sit there in glass and stuff and it's fun to do. Two, it helps me um, identify my target a lot better. So having binoculars can be really, really helpful. Next up on my list is a bow line, this guy right here. A bow line is what I use to pull my bow up the tree. I will put this little doohickey right here. Just put this on the D loop or on the string or something. Clip this right here to my side. I will climb up the tree and as I climb, this will pull down and I get to the top of the tree, take my backpack off and then I will pull this up the tree. So having a bow line is really nice. It allows me to get to the top of the tree safely and then still quickly and effectively get my bow up to the tree. Next up on the list are attractants. Now attractants come in two different sizes, shapes, I don't know, scents and calls. I, <clears throat> when it comes to calls, I bring three calls. I bring a rattle bag, which is a, it's a rattle, but it's in a bag instead of antlers. I bring a doe bleat and then my favorite of them, my grunt call. I always bring a grunt call because this is my favorite call to use. It's the most effective one that I personally have in the bag. I'm not very good with the rattle yet. And my bleat can is getting old and not very loud or anything. But this call I just got last year, a year and a half ago, to the true talker. If I see deer moving through and I want to get him to come in closer, I will pull this call out or one of the other calls. So having calls, it's really nice to have. Now I mentioned scents as well for attractants. Now I always bring taking 69, which is a doe and estrus lure. And I have some scent wicks and stuff that I will hang up in certain areas and over trail camera spots. And then I always bring this right here. This is ever calm. This is a calming scent. It's scent taken from a deer bedding scent. It says ever calm deer herd scent, first calming scent. I really like these. I was hesitant about these at first because I was like, what in the world is a calming scent? But after using it uh, for a couple of years, I realized that this can really, this can really be really helpful. Um, putting it on my boots as I walk in, putting it on a tree next to my tree stand, it really calms the deer down, especially if you have swirling wind. This can definitely give you another layer of security in a way. And the deer won't bust as easily. Not saying it's going to prevent all deer from busting out but it will help now a basic one a headlamp i always bring a headlamp oh my gosh i shine that in my eyes oh I bring a headlamp because when you're walking into the woods and it's dark out when you're walking out of the woods and it's dark out or something you just need light it's really nice to have this one right here is a cyclops headlamp um <clears throat> and this one's cool because it has 
Well, <clears throat> this regular flashlight, it's got a green one, it's got a blue one, it's got a red one, it's got a blinking red one, and it's got this like freaking spotlight of a headlamp over here. Oh, shit. Uh, it's got a lot of different modes. I like to use like the red one or the green one when walking into the woods or something. I don't want something super bright. I don't want to look like a freaking beacon or something. So I will just kind of walk in with a subtle light, um, just enough to light the path where I'm going. I have a few more items. The next one is a bottle of scent spray. Now I'm not huge on like always killing your scent and being like completely scent free because it's very, very difficult to do so. I like to hunt the wind more. I'm a stickler on making sure that I am not blowing my wind into a bedding area or something. And that's why I have tree stand set in different spots for different wind directions. But I do have a bottle of scent spray because it, it, because it is nice, maybe if you have a swirling wind um, to spray yourself down or to try to kill some of the scent and then you know I'll have the ever calm and stuff and I'll try to do the best I can to um, protect myself against all that swirling wind and stuff. But uh, yeah, having this just as kind of a backup or kind of a something to fall back on, I do carry it with me. The next one I carry is wipes. Wipes are nice for having sometimes, especially when uh, you're field dressing animals. Um, I like to have wipes so, you know, I can wipe myself off, wipe my hands or something, my arms off. Because a lot of times what I'll do <clears throat> is I will dress the animal out, I'm all dirty, blood all over my hands. I'll go down to the creek, try to wash up. That blood, it dries up. It doesn't come off very easily. So having um, wipes and stuff can help just to get it off um, so your arms don't feel dry and crackly. And then the last thing I bring to the stand with me is a tree saw slash bone saw. I have this Ameristep saw right here that I got at Tractor Supply for 10 bucks. I use it all the time to cut tree limbs, shooting lanes, and to cut bones or stuff when I'm dressing and butchering animals. So having this can be helpful. It's just a nice little thing. Also, I will use it as a machete to clear thorns. I will just, whoosh, I don't know why, I just do. Those are the pieces of gear that I take to the woods. That's the basic list of stuff and the advanced list of stuff. I also have a lot more gear in my backpack that I could go over, but it would take me a long time to go over. And I have gear that I have that I don't even take out of the woods. There's just all sorts of stuff and you can spend endless amounts of money. If you guys want to check out the gear that we talked about in today's video, there'll be links in the description. I have most of that stuff linked down there. Also, if you found value in the video, give this a like. We will see you guys in the next one, which will be all about guns and bows. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.